Good morning guys, welcome back to Choco, back to another video, and in today's video, we are chilling here at Copart. Yes, I mean, we've been building the 328, it's been an absolute beaut, we are daily driving it, and it's been amazing, but we need to find a new build on the channel. I mean, the F80 was an amazing car, and I'm trying to find something that's just as amazing, um, or possibly something just at least different. Uh, we did find this car here, and it's probably a long shot, but I decided, you know what, you never know, I, I, we might get lucky, so we're gonna go check it out. And uh, let's just say this car is an M car I've never owned before, not even in that category of M. And uh, yeah, I mean, if it goes for the right price, we'll, we'll have to cop it. If it doesn't, I mean, it, it, honestly, we're like a 10% chance to be able to get this car. But if if that 10% chance is possible, I don't want to miss it. That being said, we are here. We are just waiting for us to get called up. And then as soon as we get in there, I'll show you guys the car. And hopefully, hopefully, guys, you never know. You never know. Fingers crossed. Got to stay optimistic. Um, I just think that our bid's a little low for what it is. But it is an insurance car. And it's just such a beautiful car. As you guys can see, we are looking at an m8 competition now this car obviously guys is about hundred and thirty thousand dollars clean title i've seen a couple of these go on copart for as little as forty to fifty thousand dollars so that's why i decided to look at this one because it was local it was an m8 competition it was not a convertible it was not a grand coupe it's the coupe which is my favorite one and uh, this one came as a startup, which is very important for me. These engines um, are the scariest thing ever because they're like 10 to 15 grand. So I was like, as long as it starts up, that's something I'm kind of interested in. I checked out the frame, make sure there's no actual frame damage to the car. And thankfully the frame and everything looks really, really, really good. It just, a lot of the parts were missing and they were put in this box. And there's a box full of parts. I just, I, I can't imagine that many parts were on the front of the car because that's primarily where all the damage was. So I was just kind of like, uh, okay, so it looks like a lot of things did get damaged, even though, you know, it didn't look like that bad of a hit. Um, but that's assuming there's a lot of like electronic components. It is an M8, it is a BMW. So there's probably a lot of electrical things um, that they got damaged. Uh, when I opened up the trunk as well, we found a harness. It looks like that harness is for like the, the active, dr active cruise or something for the front bumper. Some of the wires were cut up on there. But uh, guys, check out this interior. So coming on to the interior, this thing is such a unique and luxurious interior. I'm not a huge fan of the brown or the beige, but for some reason on this car, guys, it just looks really, really, really good. Um, and I was like, oh man, this is so unique, so different. I kind of want to rebuild this and, you know, just obviously experience it. And M8, if you guys don't know, um, I believe it's like over 600 horsepower, like stock. So that's like supercar stuff. So it's pretty crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah, I decided to just, you know, check it out, check out the damages, uh, make a calculated risk. And uh, ultimately for the bid that I was gonna be bidding on, which was uh, the same price that I sold the F80, I was like, you know what, it's worth it if it goes for that much. And unfortunately, um, you guys are about to find out what happened. Guys, these M3 door panels are so sick because these actually work. I think on both sides too, is it? Yeah, on both sides. So for me, that alone, guys, is worth the money for the whole interior. But anyways, I'm not trying to justify my purchase again. After a few hours, we did take a shower and we're at BMW. So I'm here because first off, the uh, the uh, M8 went for crazy money. So that completely went in the opposite direction. I honestly thought we could possibly get it from the price of the F80, but it went for 20 grand over that. So, I mean, it was just me being hopeful but it is what it is. Meantime, guys, we are at BMW. They have this like new service thing where it's like unlimited oil changes for 200 bucks. I mean, that's a killer deal. I feel like it. And you guys know me, I'm all about my deals. And I love Carfax history. I love having a history on the car. You guys know that the 328 is the new daily on the channel. So they have a three year unlimited oil change service for 200 bucks. I feel like if I come here at least three times, that's cheaper than me doing it myself. So I mean, like if I keep, if hypothetically, if I was to keep this car for three years, which I mean, North, that's gonna be breaking a world's record um we will get our money's worth so i think it's a pretty damn good deal so let's go ahead head in there have the oil change service done get that stuff on the car fax so at least we're all feeling gravy in the navy because this car has not had an oil change in over seven thousand miles so it definitely needs it
And guys, we are at the end of this video. See, I was kind of a fail. I really wanted to, to possibly get our hands into an M8. I think it was a little early. I think it was definitely a little bit early. We're still not even close. We just started our way to the R8, and I think the M8 will be somewhere in the middle of that if we end up getting one. I just thought it would be a really, really cool project, and I definitely still think it's going to be an amazing project. If we can get our hands on one, that we can actually afford, because I probably could have squeezed things together, sold maybe a car or two, and probably got that M8. But at the same time, it's kind of like, even when I get it, probably still needs another $15,000 in repairs, because that's a 2020 M8. Um, I can only imagine how expensive the parts are. But yeah, that's the whole situation with that. We did get, we did end up getting out of BMW after waiting there for like 30, 35, 45 minutes. Um, we found out something that I didn't really, I, I guess I didn't really want to believe. They told me they couldn't touch the car. The car is flagged. And I was like, how is the car flagged? Like, what, 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 what did the car do to you guys to be flagged? And they basically said the car is a salvage title. And I was like, no way. It's a clean title. The title that I got said clean on it. No way it's salvage. Um, run it again. Show me the Carfax. It's a clean title. And they were like, no, here you go. Here's a Carfax. You printed it out. They were like, uh, I got a free Carfax, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, they were like, yo, your car is a salvage title. It was like totaled out in Texas or something um, for flood damage. And I'm assuming that's because of those drain ports. They flooded the car um, with water. Uh, not really flooded it, but got water in the carpets, which is considered flood damage. And uh, yeah, pretty much totaled out the whole car. So I'm still waiting to get the title back because I'm wondering how the Texas title got transferred to a California title and the California one was a clean. So if the title I'm gonna get under my name is gonna be a clean title, I'm gonna take that back to BMW and see if they can still warranty the car because what I was trying to get done, um, they have oil changes, which is like $130 in oil change. I think that's a little much for a 328. Like the oil and the filter, you can get it everything from like FCP Euro we're talking maybe like 40 45 bucks if you do it yourself um very easy job shouldn't take you longer than 30 minutes if you did it right so to me honestly i couldn't i don't want to justify the 130 but they do have this new deal where you pay 200 dollars and you get unlimited oil changes for three years so you know for me i was like thinking if this is the new daily you're gonna be driving it a lot it would be nice to get all the uh, all the oil changes on the carfax i thought that'd be kind of cool um because typically i don't really like putting on miles on you know expensive cars at least not like the miles they want because every oil change is considered every like 10 or 15,000 miles some crazy number like that and I would not put 10 to 15,000 miles on like at least three times which is 45,000 miles on one car I just don't drive my cars like that that much so for the daily I thought it was possible so I decided to do it and then denied it and I was like wow for the daily I need another daily. I need a daily for the daily. So it is what it is. The previous owner did tell me the car is totaled or salvaged or something, but I saw the title and I was like, it's clean. He's like, I don't know. Pretty sure it's salvaged, but it, I, I saw the title and I just assumed it's clean. I guess it is salvaged. The previous owner was right. I just wanted to believe because of what the title said. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And today we still got a killer deal on the car, obviously. For those of you guys who follow the channel, you guys know how I got the car. So I'm really still happy with it. I was just really hoping for those oil change program and pretty cool. But anywho, 328 aside, M8 aside, I'm still looking for a project. For some reason, Copart's been kind of dry recently. And again, I'm not gonna be rushing to build like I did with the i3. It was last minute, I barely did any research. I bid on the car and that was a nightmare in itself. In the meantime, I still wanna modify the 320 as much as we can because as soon as we get a new build on the channel, that's gonna be the primary focus of the channel. So I figured in the meantime, I'm gonna be modifying this 320 as much as possible. Thinking about like either replacing the lenses on the headlights, maybe getting the M small bumper sooner rather than later, um, and just doing a few other modifications, a few other retrofits in the meantime. Let me know if you guys still enjoy that kind of content on the 320. I noticed you guys did like the, the retrofits I've been doing so far to the 328. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more, at least in the meantime, till we find the new build. As far as the E92 M3 goes, the E92 M3, um, you guys will see an upcoming video. We're going to be taking it down um, to get perfected. So it's going to be really, really, really cool. That video is going to be coming up real soon. We're pretty much perfecting the paint, we're perfecting the interior, perfecting every little bit. We ordered a bunch of parts. So it's going to be pretty cool doing it all in hopefully one video. So yeah, guys, that video coming soon. But without further ado, guys, that's going to have to conclude the video. If you guys think getting an M8 in the process of getting an R, it would be a pretty cool build. Let me know down below. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.